darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of... Hey, mate! You are right. What's, um... What's, uh... What are we doing today, then? So what are we doing today then? What's a Halloween special, Greg? Is it? Yeah. Why? Well, is it just a coincidence that you're wearing a Halloween t-shirt? Yeah. Look at all of this stuff, Greg. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not that the cleaner hasn't been around. They're pretend cobwebs. Oh. Trick or treat. There's a little bucket there for you to get your chocolate in. Pink face behind you. Frank well, Jason. Fine. I've got to hand it to you. Oh, is that why you've got the Halloween mask on? So, Greg, we... So, like Team Wolf. ...are going to do five family Halloween films to watch from the 80s. Family Halloween? Yes. You know, you, you do realise I hate Halloween. And I, get, I don't watch any horrors. I'm scared of all things like that. And I know I'll, I'll get... Well, you. that's why I've chosen five movies, Greg, that have got a Halloween monster theme but aren't particularly scary. Okay. Small children may be scared by them, but you shouldn't be. Okay. Shall we uh, go for the first one? Well, is it in order, or...? Well, I'll tell you the order as we go. Oh, go on then. So we're starting from the lowest, highest, what? The no. best? I haven't really ranked them. You haven't thought about this, have you? I have. Oh? Uh, so here's five films that you can watch over Halloween with the family from the 80s. That's not the actual title. I'm not going to put that on the titles. It's going to be a long intro, that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So. <laughs> so, so, would you like to see the first of five family Halloween films to watch this Let's Halloween from the 80s? Let's do it. Um, this film is from 1987, Ooh. Greg. If you love The Goonies, like I do, lots of other adventure films, you will love this film and may well be aware of it. It's called The Monster Squad. Do you know it, Greg? Didn't we? Didn't we, we have talked yeah, about it in an episode a long time ago because I've got a bit of a thing about big box VHS. Someone mentioned to me that you've got a bit of a thing for big box VHS. Videos. I have got a bit of a thing for big box VHS videos, and I own the Monster Squad on big box VHS video. Well, if you own it, that means we own it. But you don't really know anything about it, do you? Nope. So here's a little clip. So, so here's a little clip for you, Greg, to watch. The Monster Squad, Greg. I have to say, I've never. I have to say. I have to say. I've not seen that film, but it does look goony like, doesn't it? It is, and it's brilliant. You have to watch it. I might watch that with the wife over Halloween. There are a few bits in it that very, very small children might find scary, but it is essentially. Hold on, you didn't say that. <laughs> You'll be alright, Greg. Are you serious? You know, yeah. I'm. I am a bit of a wuss. Don't worry though, because I've got some more choices for you. The next film, Greg, is called Ghost Chase. We've done that one as well. On we one have of talked about Ghost Chase because I own it on Big Box VHS Video. That's right, because I remember someone saying to me, you've got a bit of a thing for Big Box VHS Video. <laughs> I have got a bit of a thing for Big Box VHS yeah, Video. I remember. Yeah. Um, so this was actually made by a little known director at the time called Roland Emmerich, who's now like a big time director. He made The Day After Tomorrow, Ooh. 20. The 12, whatever that film was called, with John Cusack oh, in it. Oh, did he do all that? Yeah. Oh, they're great films, they are. Yeah. So he made this. Um, Have we got to watch it, yeah? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Here we go. Ghost Chase. So, this is your second visit. Uh, uh, don't be afraid of me. Oh, no, it's nothing like that. It's just that, uh... What are you doing in there, man? It's just, uh, it's just, uh, I want to go tell my buddy that you're here. I'm here, sir. Great. Glad to hear it. Tell you what, you just stay here for a minute. Yeah, 
man. Um, I'll be back in just a sec. All right? If you don't open this door now, I'll just break it in. Why did you make my body so difficult to use? Body? What body? Mind you, I still appreciate it. Ghost chase, Greg. What do you think? Um, not as good as the first one, I don't think. Don't you? It is a good film. It's had a very low budget. However, it you is. You can tell good, by the ghost. <laughs> it is a good uh, family ghost type Halloween film to watch this Halloween. Is, and it, is it scary? No. It's from the 80s and it's brill. Okay. Do you want to the next one? Yeah, go for it. Now, this next one you should probably only watch with older children because I think it probably did have a 15 rating when it came out. But it is a classic 80s movie, Greg. All I'm going to say is The Lost Boys. Oh no. You did the right thing by calling us. Does your brother sleep a lot? Yeah, all day. Does the sunlight freak him out? Uh, he wears sunglasses in the house. Bad breath, long fingernails. Yeah, his fingernails are all a bit longer. Um, He always had bad breath though. He's a vampire, all right. All right, here's what you do. Get yourself a good sharp steak. And drive it right through his heart. I can't do that, he's my brother. Okay, we'll come over and do it for you. No! You better get yourself a garlic t-shirt, buddy. Or it's your funeral. Isn't that very similar to the films that are out now? What are they called? The Twilight Yeah, films. No, it's nothing like the Twilight oh, not? films. No, that's a good vampire movie. Oh, oh hello. There's going to be letters. The vampires in there don't sparkle and shimmer like they do in Twilight. Do they sparkle loaded. and shimmer? Do they? Yeah. I might have to watch it then. Yeah, you would, Greg. So, The Lost Boys, you're not a fan? No, I've got it because you told me to buy it and I've never even opened it. Well, there you go, viewers. Viewers of our 80s based TV programme. Greg doesn't like The Lost Boys. Yeah, but I like Fraggle Rock. But you've never seen Star Wars? No, I never watched that. Next film, Greg. This one you won't have heard of. Some people might have, but you won't. Silver Bullet. Starring Corey of the Haim variety. Not the Feldman, Feldman variety. Um, this is another horror film that is probably a little bit too scary for smaller children. But uh, Corey Haim discovers that his village is beset by vampires and things. Uh, so do you want to watch a little clip? Yeah, that's too scary for me, that one. Really? I was thinking it might be scary for children. That's what I meant. Yeah. Another good film, Silver Bullet. If you haven't seen it, you'll really enjoy it if you love 80s movies. I've got one more for you, Greg. I think you're going to like this one. Oh, it's that one right there. That's right. Ghostbusters! Oh, it had to be in there, didn't it? There's no introduction. However, which one? Which one have you put in there? Which one do you think I've put in there, Greg? I reckon you've put the the new one. The, well, with, shall we have a look with the women in? Shall we have a look? Let's do it. Beckman, Beckman. Blob. 
Now, I've searched high and low <sighs> for some spooky jokes this week. Some? No, well, I only did one. I, I was going to do it. I was going to do three or four, but. But you know what I did at the moment? Yeah. Jason? Yes, Greg. What's a skeleton's favourite instrument? Who knows, Greg? Do it properly then. What is a skeleton's favourite instrument, Greg? It's the trombone. Come back after this commercial break. Not St. Ivel fiendish feet are far too good to be bad. Come to the haunted house for tea. You'll never know quite what you'll see. The pictures of eyes, the walls and ears, and nothing said it first of Look to the left, look to the right. The hungry ghost is a horrible sight. Through the door, take a seat. Supper's ready. Prepare to eat. There's a vampire bat and a venable ghost. Things that are good on a piece of toast. A pair of fangs and a pumpkin head. All in a sauce that's rich and rare. Heinz Haunted House. It's our speciality. Greg. Okay, now we did ask for people's vote last week, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, on which book to do next? Because this has been slightly disappointing. Yeah, and there's not many left. No. Uh, and I can tell you the votes are in, Greg. Yeah. And the winner is Jurassic Fart. Jurassic Fart. So they will be Use the next. My face. That's what we're doing next. Uh, so that's the ones we're doing next, but we've got to get these out of the way. So what are we on, Greg? I think we're on number. We're on number eight, aren't we? No, we're on number oh, nine. Number nine. Some cobwebs oh, just no, fell on your head. terrible, Greg. I'll sort that sort out. the cobwebs out, Jason. <laughs> okay. Apart, this is The Long Goodbye. Would you like to read about it? Uh, yes. Elusive and secretive individuals of this unusual species appear most often in public places after having been confined in lengthy social situations. So so. Social. <laughs> That's like social. Um, the skid marks are species usually detected before host is observed. None of this book makes any sense. I would imagine this is just basically it's gonna be a long-winded one. Well that's long-winded. Oh you get to press the button. I do, yeah. Number nine. So this is what the fart book thinks the long goodbye fart would be. Does that make sense? No. Okay, here we go. <laughs> well, that's the best one of the book, isn't it, Greg? I'm actually crying here. <laughs> it's that bit. We've got to do it one more time. It's that bit where. No, but you know where he gets to a certain point and it just carries on? <laughs> oh. Brilliant. That's, Brilliant. That is the best one we've done. Brilliant. That's the best one from the book. That's oh. saved that book, that has. It has, yeah. There's one more left in there for next week. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then but we'll be on to Jurassic Farts. Great. It's called the Aftershock. <laughs> <laughs> After that one. Dear, oh dear. Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite bit. So, <laughs> so, fridge of fame time. Is it? Yes. However, had a few technical difficulties this week, Greg. The laptop's not working. Um, oh, I know what you've done. So I've gone old school. No, I know what you've done. What? Don't try and make it it's not working. You've forgotten your laptop, haven't you? No. You have, haven't you? How? Why would I forget? Get it out. 
Go on, get it out. No, no, Greg, we've discussed this. I get in trouble for that. No, the computer. Oh, I haven't bought it because it's broken. Is that... Have you still got that injunction against you then, have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fridge of fame, Greg. I've gone old school. I've oh, printed stuff out. And you've even put the names on the back. Yeah, that's what they did on TV and like going live so they could read it out. We're not going live though, are we? They had more than seven viewers. Anyway, Greg. So this picture has been drawn for us. Oh. By Elena or Elena, I don't know how you pronounce it. And sent in by uh, her dad, Stephen, and Laura, his partner. Um, she's seven years old. Can I don't know if they can see Elena. that. Well, I'll put a flash of it up on you the screen. You are clever, aren't you? Uh, and it sets you there, I'm imagining, because it says Morning Jason, and then I've got Morning Greg. Is that you, the scruffy one with the beard there? Yeah, and they must have a Sony TV. God, and a PS4, and an Xbox 360, and, <laughs> and a, a Sega, Sega Master, Master System. System. And this must be Elena watching it, and it says, I love tea and toast. Oh, thank you. That's well, brilliant, isn't I've it? I've got my... Do you know what, Greg? I like doing it this way. I might go back to the original plan no, and get a board of a fridge and then we can just pin Oh, them here we go. That should be here for, what, June? These were sent in a few months ago. <laughs> this one, Greg, if you can make this out, is Darren Marshall. Uh, when he was about six years old in 1980 or 81 and he's made himself a rope swing there. Don't you always... Don't, you have to have a rope swing. Over something that is really dangerous. <laughs> if he fell on it, he'd probably have died. There's gla well, he hasn't, because he sent this in, Greg. Glass. Wood. With nails in it, probably. Adult things. Mud. Do you bet he fell in that mud and went home and did what I used to do? Like, if I ever went home really mucky, we used to go brook jumping. And if I fell in, I used to go home and say to my mum, the big kids push me in. She fell for it once, but not every week. But we used to do stuff like this all the time, didn't we? Oh, yeah, I loved Mad it. Mad stuff like that. I never bothered with the uh, computer then. It was always over the park. So that would... Always over the park doing the swinging. <laughs> I mean, the on the ropes. <laughs> We're gonna I get never shut bothered down. with the computer. It was always over the park. Swinging. <laughs> just all that was wrong, wasn't it? Darren Marshall, when he was about six <laughs> years old, move on, in 1980 or 81. Oh, I was one. How old were you? Seven. <laughs> about the same age as Darren. <laughs> it's a good age, it's a good age. No, I wasn't. I was five or six. My maths is rubbish. Same age as him, anyway. Um, this is from Mark uh, Boldbutt. Oh, pardon? <laughs> now, Greg. Sorry, Mark, but you must have had a little bit of the Mickey taken out of you at school for your surname. Surely. No, it's not Shirley, it's Bart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, originally from Kent, they moved to Australia 13 years ago and they watch in Australia, Greg. Oh, really? Tea and toast in Australia. They obviously watch it on a Sunday because they're ahead of us. Oh, that's amazing. Um, this Thanks. was his bus pass in August 1985 at the start of the school God, year. He sent his bus pass in, that's brilliant. Um, and and his email, he says he remembers buying this top because he bought it on the day of Live Aid. So that's 84. 84, yes. 84, yeah. 84. <laughs> so that's Mark Bulbutt. Uh, Mark and Jan Bulbutt watch us in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, grow up. We aren't actually 13 years old anymore. I know, but I'm I sorry, like, Mark. No, I'm not and laughing Jan. at the name. I'm laughing because I actually, for a moment then, felt like I was in... A you know, when you're at school and someone said, the teacher says something and you just start laughing and you can't stop then. I apologise. It's just Greg. you, you're like the teacher, you see, that's all. I must apologise to the Bulbutt family for Greg. <laughs> Please keep watching. No, honestly, that's fantastic. In New Zealand, I can't believe we get people over there watching us. So that's the Fridge of Fame this week, Greg. With One, no fridge. Two, three. Brilliant. Brilliant. What are you doing? Well, that's it, isn't it? That's the end of the episode, Greg. We need to put these in the cupboard for next year now. Do you, uh, do you want a hand packing away? It wasn't even funny the first time, was it? So we just spent £17 in Poundland on for one episode. Yeah, we use them again next year. You're going to so, go, go and go into all your kids, aren't you? All my kids. Oh, you got, you got more. Got kids all over. <laughs> you the place, got more than one, haven't you? I've got two. <laughs> That's all of them. <laughs>
<laughs> so, um, so. <laughs> that's the end of this week's episode. It's terrible, isn't oh, it? Should we just put that vodka away. Yeah. <laughs> Stop drinking before we record. <laughs> Goodness me. Uh, oh. We're going to go and pack away the rest of this Halloween stuff. Oh, and uh, we we'll probably have to go to Poundland again soon for some Christmas stuff. Oh, don't don't mention the C word. But we can l- Christmas. <laughs> we can leave it up for a bit longer, can't we? <laughs> this is a wrong episode, isn't it? <laughs> if you would like to appear on the Fridge of Fame sometime next year, please get your <laughs> pictures in now uh, to tnt at totgoo.com. That's tnt at totgoo.com. It doesn't have to be in capitals. And it doesn't have to be in capitals, Greg, so why did you draw it in capitals, Greg? Do it again. Um, yeah, please send us your pictures, photographs from the 80s, drawings. You said do it again. No, not that. Oh. Do the picture. Mm. And we will see you again next week on Tin Toast. <laughs>